Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to introduce you with the Swiss Doc web server. So you know it's a very useful web server where you can perform molecular docking. So using Swiss Doc web server, when you are uh, performing your molecular docking, you don't need to prepare your protein and ligand molecule manually. And also, there is no need to perform molecular docking to manual mode. So everything will be performed automatically. You just need to upload your protein molecule and ligand molecule. Okay. And for molecular docking using SwissDoc web server, you have to go to their website. So let's see. First of all, type in Google Swiss Doc and this is the link for opening Swiss Doc server click here and this is the server interface you can see here several options are there and in this web server you can perform your docking through two different molecular docking software the first one is attracting cavities 2.0 and another is autotop vena so in my youtube channel i have already uploaded uh, the tutorial for molecular docking using autotop vena so you can perform docking through manual mode also and also in swiss doc web server you can perform docking using autotop vena you just need to upload here your protein and ligand molecule okay so here I am going to perform docking with using a new docking software that means attracting cavities. Recently a paper has been published where they have introduced the attracting cavity docking software. So first of all let's upload here the ligand molecule. So for ligand molecule you have to provide a smile. Okay. So where can you get this smile format? Suppose in a PubChem database, I have selected here tell me certain. In PubChem database, if you tap, type any drug like tell me certain, click here. And from this database, you can get the smile format. Okay. Or you can draw this structure in different sketching software. So this is the smile format, copy it here, copy it and paste it. Okay, now click here, prepare ligand. So your ligand will be automatically prepared. You can also choose the second option. That means you can upload a mold to file. This is the second option. That means if you download the structure of your ligand in HDF format, 3D HDF structure, you can convert it into PDB or mold to using open bubble. So you can download the structure from the PubChem database and several other databases are also there. And you can also draw your ligand molecule using HR which is present in this database you can draw it you can modify you can add different other groups or you can completely draw a new molecule here okay and advanced search option is also there like i am typing here the name of tell me certain okay now click this option search and I have selected and click here to apply. And now prepare ligand. Tick mark appear here. That means that your ligand has been uploaded successfully. Okay. Now it's time to upload your protein molecule. So you can directly 
type here the PDB ID of your protein molecule. So, this server can detect the PDB ID from the database. Like I am typing here 7 JWS, it is a PDB ID for one enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase. Okay. So, directly you can type and you can see it is aldehyde dehydrogenase 1A1, it appears here. So, I have selected and choose heteroatoms to keep. Heteroatoms means the molecules which are associated with the protein chain, like it may be water molecules, several other ligands. So, these are the ligands which are attached with this protein molecule. Don't need to keep this heteroatom. Okay. So, click here none. So, your protein molecule will be cleared. None of the heteroatoms are present or you can simply upload your PDB file. That means if you have downloaded the PDB structure from any database, you can upload it here. So it should be in PDB format. Or you can use this advanced search. That means you can search the PDB Europe database and you can type the name of your protein. aldehyde dehydrogenase 1a1 okay and this enzyme from homo sapiens so these are the different options so when you have chosen your protein molecule let's click on prepare target so your protein molecule will be now prepared automatically now this tick mark has appeared that means your protein processing is complete okay now there is an option for selecting the grid box. So, you can manually enter the box center and box size. Okay. And you can also click here to change the position of your box. The position of the box is changing. You can see. You can also reset the position of your box. So now I think the position of the box is appropriate. It's present surrounding the active site cavity. Okay. Now select the docking parameters. So you can see this is number of RIC. That means random initial condition. That means uh, it has been seen that if the initial conformation of your uh, ligand molecule and protein molecules are different then it can uh, have impact on the docking design. So, you can select different initial conformation of your ligand molecule. So, here default is value is 1 that means random initial condition is 1. You can uh, increase it to up to 8. Okay. Few extra parameters are also there like sampling exhaustivity and cavity prioritization. That means uh, exhaustivity means how deep this docking algorithm will search for the appropriate docking conformation. Okay. That means how stringently it will search for the docking process. And cavity prioritization means uh, sometimes the cavities are buried with, with very deep within the uh, protein molecules or sometimes the cavities, active site cavities are present on the surface. So, depending on the structure of protein molecule, you can change this option. Okay. Now, for uh, docking, you have to put your email ID. So, I am giving my email ID here. And also you can enter a docking name. So I am writing here aldehydrogenase So the green tick has appeared. That means all the parameters are correct. And now you can start our drop. Click here to start the docking. 
so it will take some time uh, and the approximate time is 34 minutes okay and after the docking has been finished the result will be mailed to the provided email id and also there is a link you can click here to get your result so our docking is running now so the molecular docking is now finished and the result is presented here so i received a email containing the link to the result okay so here these are the cluster number cluster number means when molecular docking is performed so several docking pores are obtained so these docking pores are clustered based on their similarities okay so you can see this region was enclosed in a grid box so the space is very large and within this space in several areas the ligand molecules can be docked so we get we get many poses and these poses are clustered based on their similarity so here total you can see here the number of cluster so if you click on this all so all the cluster will be presented here and the score of based pose of each cluster is presented here and these poses has been scored through two different scoring function that means attracting cavity score and sewage sperm so the pose with lowest score is base pose you can see in case of sewage sperm pose this pose has minus 9.2487 so this is the base pose and also in terms of attracting cavity score is value is also very low so this pose is the base pose okay and this result has been presented here on the basis of base members or base pose of each cluster if you want to see the members of each cluster suppose in case of cluster number 0 it contains total 7 pores uh, if the class in case of cluster number 1 total 8 poses are there and this is the base pose number 1 of cluster 1 okay its score is 25.689082 and in case of cluster number 0 this is the base pose so this is the result you can also download this result by clicking this link this file or through email you can also view the result here suppose in case of cluster number 0 first pose i am selecting it then this pose will be displayed here and when you click in this link zip or mail only the pose which has been selected will be downloaded okay you can also open this ligand pose in biovia discovery studio i have already opened and this is the base pose so uh, that's all for today's tutorial thank you thank you for watching